Good morning. This is Father Nico Montalbetti from St. Luke's in Toronto. Our opening hymn is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. <laughs> good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to meet him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of Christ. Today's gospel, I think, is a gospel which really reminds us to appreciate what happens before something takes place, what happens behind the scenes. So often, I think, we show up for an event and we just assume it happens, but it doesn't happen spontaneously. There's work which goes into it. For example, when we have a church service, there has to be Someone who sits down and decides what hymns are going to be sung, what readings are going to be used. Well, we've got the lectionary for that, but sometimes we have to make a choice between different readings. There have to be things set up in order for worship to take place. The altar guild has to set up the altar. It's really a lot of work when you think about it. And sometimes we just assume that work is magically done, it's automatic. We don't often think about the human effort which goes into it. And this is where I think it takes a little more than just showing up to make things happen really well. Yes, things can be done spontaneously and they often are, but so often, if a little bit more prep goes into it, it's much easier to pull off and the results are much better. When I think about Jesus' ministry, Jesus didn't just start, boom, one day, with nothing that ever happened before him. There was the whole line of prophets leading up to John the Baptist. John the Baptist was doing the work of prepping things for Jesus. It's interesting when you think about it, because some of those early disciples of John became early disciples of Jesus. It wasn't a case of John and Jesus being rivals. It was a case of John getting ready the things that needed to happen for Jesus to begin his ministry. 
When we look at our own lives, sometimes we might think that preparation is a useless endeavor. It's not really necessary. And yet, when we look at so many of the things that we undertake, and we've undertaken well, we realize that preparation definitely is an important part. Yes, the actual execution of what it is we're trying to do is extremely important as well. I'm not denying that. But a lot of the preparation manages to enhance what it is we're trying to pull off, manages to make it better, manages to make it all that more special. As we're in a season of preparation right now, let us be mindful of all God is doing to help us to prepare for the celebration of the birth of Jesus later this month. Amen. I invite you to pray the Collect for the second Sunday of Advent, followed by the Our Father. Almighty God, who sent your servant John the Baptist to prepare your people to welcome the Messiah, inspire us, the ministers and stewards of your truth, to turn our disobedient hearts to you, that when Christ shall come again to be our judge, we may stand with confidence before his glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is, O Come Divine Messiah. 